a surgical chop shop. Just what we need. This place is a fucking slaughter. There is a guy waiting for you in 102. I understand completely, completely. It really is a maze down here, don't you think? Yeah, very confusing. So, about the exit? All right. Go past the noisy noises, and then straight ahead up the stairs, and there you go. Thank you. Just be careful. Don't stray from the path. You are a child of light. Daniel, much too precious to get lost in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Maria.
LAPD, I need to ask you some questions. You... you shouldn't be here. It's all right. Like I said, I just want to ask you some questions. No! No! No questions! He'll think I'm flirting with you. Well, let me talk to him then. Please, just, just go away. He'll get mad if he hears us. Is the man in there with you now, ma'am? I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I never know. He comes and goes, you know? Has he mistreated you in any way? You have to leave. I'll be fine. All right, ma'am. I'm leaving. <gasps> ma'am? What's going on? Please, be quiet. He's looking right at me. Oh, he is? So he's in there now? He's always here. He lives in the walls. Oh, God, I think he heard you. Wonderful. Aren't we having a mad fucking tea party? your business. Your well-being. Jack shit. Yes. And no. What do you think? This can't be right. No, it can't. It never could. What's going on? It bothers me, sweetheart. Relax. It's just a matter of time. Time waits for no man. Time's nothing. What's the problem? Is this an interrogation? Is that so hard to imagine? Talking to the wrong guy. Are you sure? Take a hike. Will not. Will do. Will not. Game over. I got your number. I'll be back. Our paths will not cross again, Dan. Try not to think about her. It won't bring you peace. This intercom is offline. Please contact the building manager. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it.
Dan Lazarski. JPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no. There's no one here. Uh, did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Pieta. Your little sister? No. She's my friend, silly. From school. <laughs> no! She's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, uh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Polina? Thirty-four. <laughs> Nine, you silly! Are you upset? Will you be all right? I'm... I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um... I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is... happening to me. I feel... weird. Paulina... Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. 1074. KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're Immaculates. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Depends on who you're talking to. The consensus seems to be crazy, but harmless. I see. And what is your own impression so far? Well, you're probably the least crazy person. I've met today. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I think. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants. But I couldn't do what I do without them. 
Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. More feed. Some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. Synchrosine refilled. Your eyeballs are ready, but you might need to reschedule. What? Your eye doctor. Where do I find him? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. If I don't find him, he's a dead man. Who's gonna install your new eyes then? You're lying! You're trying to trick me, get me to talk. I know how you people operate. Listen, there's a lot more at stake here than some two-bit river. You don't know him at all. He's a great man. He gave me hope. I won't betray his trust. All right, blind man. I know you can hear me. I know you're used to the dark, good for you. Your eyeballs are ready. But you ain't getting them. At least I won't get to look at the likes of you. Take your threats elsewhere. They won't work on me.
everything all right? Uh-huh. Don't mind the rain? It burns sometimes. And this helps? Get your wire. Need to get out. We will. Daniel Lazarski. John Bukowski. Oh, good to meet you, Daniel Lazarski. Same here. Tell me, Daniel, that rumbling I heard, uh, was that a lockdown? Yeah, it was. We're trying to rule out the phage. <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother you. <laughs> hey, are we, are we having fun or what? <laughs> Who gives a flying shit about the other tenants, right? Oh, you mean the selfish pricks who are too busy with their worthless lives to help out an old cripple. <laughs> uh, the ones who turn up their projectors when they hear a neighbor calling. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't really care. <gasps> we all get what we deserve. I know you're from somewhere. The name rings a bell. <gasps> Lots of people used to know me, back when I was in the ring. Hang on. You're the champ. Bulldozer Bukowski. Uh, what's left of him? I used to be able to crush a man's skull with my bare hands. Now I can't even wipe my own ass. What's wrong? What happened to your ass? Time happened. The corporation happened. My retirement happened. <laughs> Anything you need in there, old man. An extra lung, maybe. Oh, I got one of those. All I have left. You used to have all sorts of great shit back in the day. Uh, carbo tie legs, uh, a pneumatic arm, reinforced skin. Hell, I even had some of my internal organs replaced. What happened? You lose them because of an outbreak? Uh, I wish. <sighs> At least that would have been vaguely poetic. So what crippled you in the end? <laughs> the fine print. Must be tough to go on like this. <sighs> yeah, but I can't just give up. <sighs> Not in my DNA. I suppose the drugs helped you out a little? 
Hey, I ain't no fucking junkie. <laughs> you, you got that? Don't choke on me yet, champ. Tell me what happened. Oh, and after my contract ended, I had a hot date with the repo man. They stripped you down? <laughs> that would have been illegal. They, they gave me an option. Could have kept my mods. It was only going to cost me two million a year. I get it. Back to bare basics. You know what I got? You get your painkillers from Amir. Uh, who? Come on, I found a big stash with your name on it. No need to who me. Ah, uh, what the hell? Yeah, he, he brings me stuff sometimes. Well, that's too bad because he's dead now. I gotta go. Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, hold on, Lasarski. Uh, what did you say? I said I gotta go. <sighs> no. No, before that. You said the kid's dead? <sighs> Damn. There goes my discount. Uh, any idea who did him in? I was hoping you could tell me. <sighs> nah. Ain't got a clue. All right, champ. Hang in there. <sighs> yeah, fuck you too. Wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. Why specialize in augmentation? To go beyond our limits. To realize our true potential. To usher in a new era. Big words. Some would say it's all about improving the patient's quality of life. Bigger than that. Our true goal should be to improve all of mankind, each subject, a step towards that goal. By subject, do you mean patient? What else would I mean? Or were you being clever about my alleged lack of empathy?
tissue inflammation. It's rejecting the implant. of the last sequence. You were connected for 16 minutes and 43 seconds real time. 16 minutes? Am I losing it? Already scanned. Focus down. Try to remember. Warning. Abnormal genetic structure detected. This blood doesn't match the victim. Calibrated trace. Calibrating now. Calibration complete. Trace established. Bingo. Yes. Synchrony no. injected. Strain level decreased.
Hey, PD. I need to ask you some questions. Shh. Keep your voice down. He'll hear you. Who will? The one of many shapes. We don't speak his name. Does he live around here? Below. He lurks below. Only comes out to hunt. How do I find him? You don't. He finds you. He always gets his prey. What are you talking about? No, I've already said too much! I won't let him hurt you. If you work with me. I can't. I'm sorry. He'll know. How? He's coming. He's coming! What the hell are you, anyway? Time to get some answers. Setting up a crime scene. Voice recorder module malfunction. The hell with it. Third degree burns, oh no. I wonder if there's anything left of him. Stab wound, consistent with a good doctor's cane. Lucky me. The neural implants to 
still functional. Most people. God knows why you fucking kill people. But I want my fucking son back. Once upon a time, there lived in a certain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Something's not right. Just look at it. Victor! Victor! He had cut only a few strokes when he saw the red cap shining through. He cut a little more, and the girl jumped out and cried, Oh, I was so frightened. It was so dark inside. Mommy, why did the wolf have to die? What's wrong with his legs? What a little freak! There's no other way. 
Come, Victor. Dinner is ready. I don't like it. Please, you need to eat. Come on, eat. Eat. Hurry! Your prey's getting wet! Is full, the beast what the awakens. Hell are you watching? There. There, there, there. Now's your, Now's your chance. chance. Hurry. to complete paralysis? Great idea, Dad. <laughs> Damn it. And he did that? Why? Just to spite me? I told you to stay out of the stacks. I'm better off there than I am here. Stop yelling. You're only making it worse. I'm making it worse? Look at him! It's grotesque! It's disgusting! This 
freak of nature is not my son! Victor, please. Your father didn't mean it. We're just worried about you, that's all. Leave me alone! Once upon a time, there lived in a certain forest a brave little wolf, the fiercest creature who was ever seen. <laughs> It's okay, Victor. Please, calm down. Mommy? Talk to him, Victor. I know there is still hope. No, not like this. <laughs> Jesus, this is hopeless. Look, he's at it again. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> We're in for another show. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Just give up already. <laughs> oh, it's just fucking sad. No! Leave me alone! Look at him. Please, you Once upon a time, there would be a certain food. Congratulations. We're past the first phase of the treatment, and it looks promising. Your body is responding well to the genetic material. S thank you, Doctor. I can't tell you how. How much I appreciate it. Oh, that's all right. You'll thank me in a couple of weeks when the shift starts to occur. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the results. So you see, while it is technically inoperable, this procedure can practically nullify the symptoms. I'm not going to lie. The treatment is invasive, but it is by far the best oh. option. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Did you hear that, Dan? Dan showed me. What if you're wrong? Well, what if I'm right? 
It's something I need to do. For once in your life, can't you just admit that you're wrong? <laughs>